Good morning. Welcome to another time of Lenten devotion. I hope that your Lenten journey is progressing. Um, today we're talking about um, fears, naming our fears and dealing with our fears. Um, fears can be really risky. Uh, if you ask somebody, what are you afraid of? Um, very likely they might uh, become very vulnerable. So whether we talk about our fears in public or whether we acknowledge them in private, uh, it is a, a place where we are revealing um, something deep within us. In some crowds, if you ask somebody, what are you afraid of? They may say uh, spiders or snakes or, or mice, heights, or uh, in other um, circles. It might be that somebody is afraid, afraid of um, failing a math test, not getting the, the perfect job, not getting into the right school. Uh, there are all types of things that people are afraid of. We're afraid of not having enough. Uh, and that is throughout uh, all our lives. At every age, we're afraid of not having enough time and, and money or whatnot. We're afraid of losing people who are dear to us. We're afraid of never finding people to share a life with. We're afraid of our own mortality, afraid of failing, and, and sometimes even afraid, I think, of succeeding. Fear is a universal um, part of us. We all have fears. And what we do with those fears uh, is sometimes a place where we grow. You know, um, pastors, people might come to them asking them, what are some, some scriptures that I can refer to when I am afraid? Particularly when people are um, facing um, hardship and illness and um, uh, one of the one of the wonderful scriptures that many people turn to is Psalm 27, and we're going to uh, take a look at that today. Just a short look from, excuse me, Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation; whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life; of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me. It's my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. One thing I ask from the Lord, the only thing I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. If we are looking for words of confidence in the lengths that God will go to protect us. The, the Lord is our light and our salvation, and we do not have to be afraid. The psalm speaks of how God will protect us from evildoers and from all of those things that are apt to harm us, trusting I would invite you as you explore your own fears, when you name them before God, they don't go away. But I think with prayer and with trust, we, we are helped through them. And that is what I um, pray for you uh, this day. As you continue in your Lenten journey, take a moment to think about the things that you are afraid of. Break open Psalm 27 and see if you can find some comfort and confidence there. I hope you have a blessed day. Take care.